inductee, was a basketball state champion in 1975, women's basketball state championship head coach in 1980, and was a Chris Manos Award winner. Ladies and gentlemen, Bud Waffle. Thank you, Graham. As I was looking at these pictures of my old playing days, I didn't realize how short those basketball pants were. <laughs> I, th I think every time my mother washed those, it got short. But I, but I remember before each game, all of us trying to stretch those things out to make them longer. Didn't work out too good, but we won a lot of basketball games wearing those uniforms. So that's okay. It is an honor to be inducted into the First Baptist Athletic Hall of Fame, and I would like to thank Graham Haley, who has done a remarkable job here as athletic director and coach. I would also like to thank the induction committee uh, for your hard work in, in establishing the Athletic Hall of Fame. I'm happy to be joined today by my family, sitting over here, my brother Hank and wife Patsy, uh, my sister Connie, my son Gene and his wife Kristen, and my daughter Catherine and her husband David, who's also a football coach, by the way. And I'd also like to thank my lovely wife Ann, uh, who, by the way, I met right here at First Baptist my sophomore year. So she transferred in from Virginia, and we still let her into school. <laughs> I'm glad we did. Thank you, Doctor, for that. <laughs> but she's been very supportive of these many years of coaching. And now that I'm retired, I get to spend a little bit more time with her doing what she wants to do. <laughs> she's back there shaking her head. <laughs> First Baptist has been a blessing to me and my family in many ways. It has provided a wonderful Christian education uh, for me and my children. Uh, and it was led by our beloved principal, Dr. R. Earp, 33 years. Dr. Earp led us. He kept us straight, he kept us in line. And we had a tough class. 1975 class was good, but they were a tough class. But uh, he got us through. And it was interesting a while ago when I was listening to Anita uh, speaking, and she mentioned that Dr. Herb gave your team, volleyball team, the day off for winning the championship. That was good. I can remember Dr. Herb giving some other students the day off also. And it wasn't for winning the championship. <laughs> the First Baptist has also provided the opportunity to establish lifelong friendships. I can see some of my old teammates here today. Back there in my sophomore year, I, I was privileged to play with Perry Gervais in my sophomore year when we won the region championship for the first time in school history. I see his brother John Gervais who played before me and who I, I loved watching when I was younger and I tried to emulate the way he played because he played the game right. Because he played for Chris Manners. But also think of all my basketball teammates my senior year. Marshall Blaylock, Roger Dominey, Lloyd Brown, Frank and Ed Cornwell, just to name a few. Bill Walpole, Jeff Stinkman, Buzzy Tinkin, Dave Fender, Dick Whip, and our coach Barry Moorhead. And what we were able to accomplish that particular year was remarkable. The most notable being came on March 1st, 1975, which by the way, this year will be 45 years, I believe. We won the school's first ever state championship up in Florence, South Carolina, over a very tough opponent, Hammond Academy. First title ever. And they had a player named Bill Goss on that team. It was after 30 points a game. He went on to play for South Carolina. But we had we had Blaylock and we had Frank and Ed and others and we were able to come out on top of that game. And the thing I remember most, at the end of that game with about two minutes left, we were either up by one, down by one, or 
tied. And Coach Moorhead called the timeout. And so we, he gathered us in a circle over at the bench. And he looked at us and didn't say a word. But we all looked at each other, waiting for instructions, waiting for a play. Never said a word. And finally he spoke up and he says, what do you all think we need to do? What do you all think we need to do? He was asking us. And I don't remember how we responded to Coach Moorhead during that timeout, but I do remember how we responded when we ran back out on that court. And we did what we did 20 other, 20 other games during the season. We won the game. We won the title. And that's how we responded. As a coach here at First Baptist, I had the privilege of working with many young men and women, some of who are here tonight. See, Wilbur Combs is now the principal, high school principal. He was on our inaugural football team, as was Artie Earp. There's Artie. Artie Earp, he always, he's always our friend. He's the one that initiated that, that football uh, team, got that, got that going for us. Scott Hagen. Uh, the Gardner boys, Greg and uh, Danny, Jeff, and then I also see, uh, of course, Karen's here tonight, Karen Hatcher, Carlin, and one of our other players, Kim Bowers. Kim Bowers. And it was also special to be able to coach my son Gene and my daughter Catherine. And many fun, many fun coaching memories, but probably the most memorable happened on March of 1980 when we won the school's first ever women's basketball state championship. Penny Wilson, Kim Bowers, <coughs> Sally Cornwell, Karen Hatcher, those are just a few of the members of that team that went 21 and 4. But, uh, and I remember that game. That we Call the timeout at the end of the day. We were up by, I think, two points. But we had to call a timeout just to give the team a rest because they were just playing their hearts out. And I recall, we didn't say anything, but I remember looking up at Karen Hatcher and I said, Are you ready to go? And I looked at Kim, Are you ready to go? And they nodded their head. They had that determined look on their face. Right, Karen? <laughs> and they went out and got it done against Thomas Sumter Academy for the championship. And finally, uh, on behalf of my family, I want to pay tribute to our mother and father, Jean and Estelle Walpole, uh, through their love, and sacrifice, and hard work, were able to send all four of their children to First Baptist, which was a blessing. And they were so supportive, as were all our parents back then. And I, I can see them now sitting up in the bleachers. For every game, home and away, sitting up there with the Blaylocks and the Dominies, the Cornwells and others. Uh, so supportive. And uh, my brother reminded me a while ago that when I was on the JV team, we didn't have any transportation that particular year. And my father had bought a 1953 bus and converted it into a camp for the family, family kid. And I, I, I mentioned the fact that in one day we didn't have any transportation. So what he did, he painted that bus white. And on the side of the bus, he painted JV Special on the side. JV Special. That was going to be our team bus. And lo and behold, we put all the team on that bus and he took us to home and away games. Yeah, I'm not sure the school would have approved the 1953 bus. <laughs> Nevertheless, that's what we did. And so that was special. In closing, thank you again for this special honor. I also want to thank uh, Pastor Marshall Blaylock for his many years of leadership to the church and to the school. Thank you.